Well, it is good afternoon, and thank you very much for this opportunity to come and uh, speak about Aranya Natural. And thank you so much, Amrita and Sangeeta and Joyce, who has been working behind the scenes to make sure everything works uh, perfectly. Um, I'm not a great speaker, and I have absolutely no f formal education in textiles. What I, what I have in abundance is passion for what I believe in, and uh, ambition, as Uzrama said, which of course takes a toll on the family, but that can't be helped. Uh, I'll start with a small anecdote. Uh, towards the end of 1993, when we were living in Calcutta, I was chatting with Dashan Shah, who's a friend, and the conversation went like this. She said, uh, I'm going to Dhaka for a vegetable dye workshop. And I said, oh, I wish I could come too. <coughs> she said, why don't you? I said, OK, I'll check with my husband. She said, why do you have to check with your husband? You just tell him that you're going. <laughs> so I said, Darshan, I have been married that, at that time for about 25 years. And I think I'd like to stay married for a little longer. <laughs> and I'm sure he's not going to say no, but I, I'd still like to check with him. So that's how I entered, uh, landed up in Dhaka and met Ruby Gasami for the first time. And I remember the uh, beautiful colors that we produced in that workshop. And I came back and I thought to myself, how am I going to, I'm not ever going to start business. I'm not a business person at all. How am I going to use this knowledge? It should be useful for somebody. And then I talked to Darshan and uh, then I realized Munar is the best place to start this because we had just started a unit for manufacturing books, uh, binding uh, folders and bill books and such like that, a very boring and very monotonous job for the physically and mentally challenged young adults who were there. Um, unfortunately, we have a large number of them because uh, the intermarriage between families in that community and these are all the children of the tea pluckers. <coughs> And um, so we went, Darshan and I, we did two workshops in Monar and uh, ex great excitement. And before that, I, st I st went to Darshan, I checked the colors, uh, the, uh, uh, the fastness, not, not really fastness, how to, uh, how the colors going to turn out in uh, uh, the for water and the natural resources that were available. And I did it in the kitchen of the guest house much to the horror of the staff there. And they were, uh, I mean, the, I, I was amazed that the clarity and the vividness of the colors, the colors seemed to be literally jumping out of my hands. It was so vivid, because we have spring water uncontaminated by any chemicals. So there it was, that was the beginning of Aranya. And we named it Aranya in honor of Ruby, who was our guru and our teacher. And then, uh, over the years, I never expected to grow. I mean, it was a hobby uh, for the, you know, to keep the uh, the youngsters involved in doing something that would uh, sort of keep them occupied and you know interest them in doing something nice. And but with God's grace, we grew. And then there was so much confusion whenever we went for an exhibition. She said, "Are you from Dhaka?" He said, "No, we are from Munar." So, but we, we there is a Dhaka. I said, "Yes, that is our name." So. Then we decided to call it Aranya Natural. And so that day we are 23 years later, Aranya Natural. And while everybody has spoken about uh, the chemical balances and the chemical uh, compositions and the processes, I want to uh, take five minutes of your time to what the color has done to these delightfully different youngsters. Uh, initially, they, when they came to us, we started with just six uh, young adults, and they were all depressed, uh, very moody, and not smiling individuals. Because they have all been locked up in their houses when their parents uh, went to work, not out of cruelty, but for their own safety. So, they uh, adjusted, contented young adults, they are married, they have children, normal children, and they have lived in self-respect, they earn a lot of money. They, uh, they are in fact supporting their parents instead of the other way around. They live in their own houses. So it's a... <laughs> so when a color turns bright and uh, they 
show show it they used to call it super colors anything that was bright mm. and nice was you know for them super color mm. so the super colors did the job for them and thank you